The following instructional video will guide you through the installation procedures for AI Carriers 2 and AI Carriers 2 HD by Lamont Clark, Javier Fernandez, and Sullivan Parity. On to Microsoft Flight Simulator X with acceleration. Before progressing any further in this video, you must first download the necessary files, AI Carriers 2 and USS Nimitz in Ike version 2. These are available at www.sandpro.webs.com and under Session Add-ons, or at www.fsxblueangels.com under Multimedia and Downloads. Check the description box below for these downloads. Once you have located your downloaded files, we may begin the installation procedures. First, locate and open your downloaded AI Carriers 2 file. This will be a compressed .zip file. Once open, double click the file named setup.ex. If you are currently unable to run this file, attempt unpacking your .zip file and running the setup again as an administrator. The setup.exe file will automatically install AI carriers. Take note of the folder in which it installs. For some users, it will install into their program files x86 folder. Other machines may install into add-on scenery within your FSX folder. This will be important when you attempt to install HD carriers. The setup will give you an option for the components that you wish to install. For acceleration users, the boxes should already be checked. For SP1 users, you will want to uncheck the Use FSX Acceleration Ships and check the Hardex Ships Models option. SP1 users will not be able to proceed to install HD Nimitz and Ike, but will have the non-HD drop-in carriers after completing this segment of the installation. After you have installed AI carriers and you wish to proceed installing HD Nimitz and Ike into FSX with acceleration, locate the file you have downloaded named USS Nimitz Ike version 2.zip and open it. Next, locate your AI carriers folder and the conf.d folder within it. Located either in your add-on scenery or program files x86 folder. Copy the cvn6869.cfg file located in your zip folder and paste it into your conf.d folder inside of your AI Carriers folder. Once the configuration file is inside the conf dot d folder navigate to your main fsx folder now locate within the zip file the folders effects sim objects and sound copy or drag and drop all of these folders into your main fsx folder when asked if you would like to merge the folders click yes you have now installed ai carriers hd nimitz and ike into fsx to ensure your add-on is functioning, start or restart, if already running, your FSX. After pressing the Alt key, you should see a menu option titled Add-ons, and under it, an option for AI carriers. For many people, this will not appear yet, or they may have an option, but only for the non-HD ships. If this happens to be you, simply minimize your game and locate your AI carriers folder Double click the executable jar file called AI Carriers. After a moment, you'll see a window appear that says Connected to Flight Simulator X. Re maximize your game and you should now have the option. If you now have two options, click on the bottom one instead of using the Shift J function. Droppable carriers like these will only appear on your PC and are not visible to others in the session. Much like add on scenery, what you have on your screen, i.e. the position of your ship, will only be common with everyone else's ship if you have dropped it into a common waypoint. To accomplish this, we simply look at our map with our game on pause by clicking World, then Map. Cancel out of your map after it loads. Then open your AI Carriers menu by either clicking in Add-ons or hitting Shift-J. Click the desired ship. Click Add to Facility Waypoint, then click on the waypoint in which you wish to add it to. Waypoints are listed from closest to furthest from your current location. 
If you join a server and see a person or people sitting over the water, there's a good chance they have a carrier spawned at that waypoint. To see it, simply view your map and find the waypoint they are over and add your carrier to that waypoint. This has been a basic overview of the installation multiplayer compatibility of AI carriers. If you have any further questions on the installation, please feel free to refer to the readme's included in the .zip files, or you may refer to SanPro's written tutorial, or post your question as a comment below.